a really fun video where we are going to be playing with spray paint and my inner child gets giddy when I hear the rattle of a spray paint can. I picked up five random objects, um, so some I picked up in the house, I've got some metal tins, I've got some jars and then the other ones I picked up in the likes of the pound shop really cheaply and um, so this is like a really cheap and quick DIY. I always feel like a bald child when I hear that noise. See that rattle? That rattle just makes me feel like mischievous. But yeah, this is what I'm using today. So I'm using Rustolium Metallic Brilliant Finish. Now, I am using the primer. I bought the primer. I'll show you that now as well because I'm painting on metal, ceramic, plastic and glass. So, and it says to use a primer. I also hope I have enough spray paint to do all the items. I probably should have got two cans of spray paint, but Let's just see how we get on. I always spray paint outside as well. It does say use you can use indoors, well ventilated, blah, blah, blah. Outdoors, I would destroy my house if I had spray paint indoors. There would be copper spray paint all over this shabby chic house. So, outside we go. So these are the random objects that I'm gonna be using today. I've got a metal can, an old vase that I picked up um, from Ikea. I picked up this little letter holder in the pound shop and um, that was really cheap and it is lovely but just the colour isn't the nicest and then I just have some Kilner jars and a plastic bottle that I'm going to use as well and try out the spray paint on and Blondie has also popped her head in. This is the primer so I'm going to prime them first. It says anything um, plastic, wood, not treated needs to be primed. So always just follow the instructions that's on the back of the can and you can't really go wrong. Once the primer has dried, I'm then going to go over it then with this and hopefully it will be all fab and copper and looking gorgeous. Fingers crossed. <laughs> 